Big Brother finale, Derek was crowned the winner and walked away with a million dollar grand prize. Passing the boat that clinched the win was one of the game's most talked about players, Frankie, who made headlines for his supersized personality and superstar sister, Ariana Grande. After being locked away, from society from near, for nearly 100 days, please, everyone, give a warm welcome to Derek and Frank. I know. More, you're seeing other faces other than each other's. And yours, but yours is stunning. So. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed watching. Always buttering up the hole, oh, yeah. which I don't really mind. But Derek, last night when I asked you, what are you going to do with the half million dollars, you said, your wife is the boss when it comes to the money. True. So what is your wife? I do think it's going to entail a shopping spree. Um, <laughs> Only for her or both of you or the house? Oh, no, I'm out. I'm going to be sitting at the house. She's not, <laughs> she'll take care of it for me, I'm sure. You can take a little shopping Definitely pay back the mortgage, college funds for 10 weeks. Yeah. 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 How many months old? Your baby daughter? 21 months. 21 months old. Yes. yes. She's yes. going to college. She's going to college. Yes. yes. Okay, so first, how did you keep it a big secret that you, uh, from the rest of the house, that you were a, a, a policeman that worked undercover? Or, let me just say, you're an undercover cop. How do you keep that from people? I mean, well, that's why you're an undercover cop, and you can keep it secret. But uh, what happened? And did you think that helped your strategy to win? And did you use some of your police skills to psych them out? So you can win? I knew I didn't want them to judge me before they had a chance to know me, oh, and there were some preconceived notions out there about cops. So I figured it would be best just to keep it to myself, and maybe I would reveal it later. But if you watch the show, there weren't many people in the house that like cops. No. So uh, I decided, you know what? That's probably not the best strategy. I'm going to leave it out of my final two speech and just, uh, and just roll with the punches. But as far as using what I learned as an undercover detective, mm -hmm. you know, you profile people. You find mm -hmm. their common interests. You don't profile people. Don't look over here. There you go. <laughs> Weaknesses. weaknesses and their motives in the game. And right. when I saw the opportunity, I took advantage of it. Mm -hmm. What was Frankie's weakness, in your opinion? And you know, yes. Frankie's weakness was his pride. He loved to win. And you know what? Winning in Big Brother isn't everything. Yeah. And he made... <laughs> And he painted a large target on his back, and he's intelligent enough to know that he had to win the whole way to get there. And uh, it's just not very likely in the game of Big Brother. There's too many comps and yeah. too many twists. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I called him out, though, about being a cop because he defended cops. And I was like, okay, the only person that defends a cop is a cop. Yeah. Um, but honestly, 
I'm a student of gender and sexuality, and um, I studied it in college, and literally that was something regurgitated from an article that I had read back in the day. But um, let me say the way that I feel is I feel society forces us to conform to certain social norms, and it takes people later in their life to choose to defy those social norms. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Uh I'm going to honor who I am as a person. Yeah. And that's what I feel. Thank you. And, uh, okay. I'm not an authority on gender and sexuality, so I apologize if it came across that way. I feel it's far too complicated for anyone to be an authority. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's very complex. Good point. Good point. So, Frankie shocked the house huh? when you came out and told everybody who your sister was. Ariara. Ariana. Ariana. <laughs> What did you think about it? <laughs> well, if you saw the show, I didn't even know her first name. I figured it was Amber Grande. Well, yeah, but, uh, common. <laughs> once, once I started rocking the tunes, I knew who she was, and I was all about it, and uh, I still wanted to meet them, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. But did it turn things around? Because you pulled that out of the hat when you were kind of in the dark yeah, zone wow. to impress people. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, I basically I had nothing left. I had worked. nothing left to, to, to lose or gain. So I just, I had to fall back on who I was outside of this house. In the, fi in the final seconds, what's next for each of you? Derek, you first. You know, if something comes from this where I can continue to be part of Big Brother, I want to, I love this game. But ultimately, the plan is to go back home and hit the streets and do what I do, do what I love. Frankie, what's going on in your future? I don't know. This chair is really comfortable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love the talk. Yeah. <laughs>